Hi guys, Neil from Nismo Tech back again with another review and uh, today we're looking at the Shogun Brothers Ballista Mark 1 Commander Series Gaming Mouse. Uh, the guys at Shogun Brothers kindly sent us this uh, a few weeks ago. I did the unboxing a couple of weeks ago now, um, just before I went on holiday. Uh, actually took it away on holiday with me and uh, did it, used it a bit while we were away and uh, I've used it a little bit since we've been back and I uh, can categorically say it is the, the nicest gaming mouse I've actually had the pleasure of getting my hands on. Um, everything down from the the look of it, let's try and get it positioned nicely for you. Uh, it lights up everywhere, um, it has branding on it everywhere, it's it's just all in all it is a very nice looking mouse but added to that are the fact that i don't like using big words at this time of night but the ergonomics of it uh, it fits to your hand really really comfortably it has um special grip material down the side uh, there uh, where your thumb rests and it just your hand fits into it really nicely there are so many nice features of it um, that it's untrue um, the actual mouse wheel itself um, it just works really really positively um, all the features of later on in this review um, I'm going to show you the actual software that you get with it uh, and how you can customize the mouse really to any liking that you want from DPI button settings but you'll see that in the in, in the uh, the look at the software that we do later so that's fine but in terms of actually using it in game uh, on an everyday basis uh, I used it for just about everything just to try and get a real feel for it and I, I can categorically say I mean this is you know not blowing anybody's trumpet by saying this but uh, I, I just really did like every single facet of it um, the buttons are very positive um, the actual sensitivity can be adjusted to your personal liking I don't like it too sensitive uh, whether it be in game or even for general everyday use uh, I could adjust the sensitivity of it just absolutely perfectly to my liking and, uh, and yeah I, I, I haven't got a bad word to say about it um, everything that uh, that I needed to adjust on it I could it has enough buttons to make it reasonable um, it's not covered in buttons like some gaming mice that you see um, that would be too much for me personally it has just the right number of buttons to make it uh, feasible for me and, and usable on a, a really good basis um, and the, the, the features and functions are, are really exceptional. Um, as I said, the, the real standout feature for me is, is, its, is its shape and, and the way it fits to your hand. Um, it really is superb. I mean, the, as I said, the material wise, um, even down to the braided cable, um, you know, that, that really is a, a high quality braided cable. Um, as I say, there the really is nothing to complain about. Um, the retail, from what I've been able to see, I think I said in the unboxing, was somewhere in the region of about fifty pounds, um, which is, you know, it's it's a reasonable price to play, pay for a gaming mouse. But you really are getting quality here. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I really have to say on the matter. It's a really high quality mouse. Um, I really urge you guys to go out and, uh, and give Shogun Brothers a look. Uh, have a look at the ballista I'm sure you won't be disappointed um, it's a really exceptional mouse so go and give them a look uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the software for the mouse and then uh, you'll be able to get a view for the customization settings that you can do uh, that you get with it and then from there on uh, you can see what the extra features are so we'll have a look at that now Okay guys, so here is the uh, software. As you can see, we've got button function, macro, um, and there's commander series uh, details at the top, and we've also got uh, mode there. So let's have a look at the button function. Uh, we've got mode one, mode two, mode three, 
mode 4 and all these obviously change the uh, the color of the LED as we mentioned earlier in the review uh, lots of different options on the uh, the button functions there as you can see which is great uh, you can actually rename all the modes if you double click there and you can change the modes as I say lots of different features on the button functions which is really good to see and uh, shows the LEDs and shows all the functions that you can do for the different buttons which is great so that's uh, really nice to see on the macro side everything you'd expect to see different mac macro functions uh, lots of different options on that so that's great and uh, yeah it's pretty straightforward really from that point of view so there's no issue on that uh, and then over to the DPI settings um, four different DPI settings you can adjust those as you see fit uh, there's four different options shown on the LEDs on the side uh, X and Y axles uh, they can be done independently you can adjust the uh, the polling rate down there and uh, yeah lots of different d different options for you to customize uh, go back to the home screen there and uh, and yeah as you can see it's a really nice bit of software so that really tops it off nicely so that's the ballista mark one commander series mouse okay neil from nismo take saying bye We hoped you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website, nismotech.com, along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site, you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways, plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.